So why did you choose stereolithography as your main research area? Why do you want to work with liquids? Where do you see the advantages of focusing on that? Um, so, so right now the replacement, the, the way 3D printing is replacing conventional manufacturing is through metal 3D printing. Um, and there are a couple of problems with that. One is that it's, um, it's very energy intensive. Uh, so let's say you 3D print with, with titania, you have, you have a, like a bed of powder, uh, of titania powder, and you have to heat that right below the melting temperature of titania. So it's not molten yet, but it's just close enough. And then you have a, a laser that locally heats uh, those titania powder um, to center into a solid, right? Uh, and so this is very energy intensive. And I I'm somebody who also really cares a lot about the climate crisis. And, and, and I think it's really important that the technologies we develop are um, take that into account and how much energy they, they consume. So that's one uh, issue. The other part is, is that the parts that you make with metal 3D printing don't have the same kind of qualities that you get with stereolithography because the surface roughness is very bad. Um, and there are ways to mitigate that, but it's always added processes that at some point it becomes, um, it takes away the advantage of 3D printing because it becomes more complicated to get to a reasonable part. And so one of the research, uh, at the beginning of my project, I went to a 3D printing company called Access Prototype here in Montreal. Uh, and they mentioned that they have a lot of uh, clients or a lot of projects trying to make 3D printed parts for the cockpit in an airplane. Um, but the quality of the 3D printed and uh, metal 3D printed part is, is not very good that if they have the choice to switch to stereolithography because the surface finish is much better, then they would do that. But the reason they cannot is because it's very unstable. You will not get into an airplane with parts that are made with stereolithography right now because it's you know a couple of weeks it will break apart. It's not safe. Um, and so, if you are able to just address the stability problem, even if the parts are still plastics that are categorically weak. Um, they will already have many more applications replacing metal 3D printing. Um, because if it's, if it's not a high stress application, but you have a better quality part, then you're able to replace it.